Let's go all the way back, DJ, to the beginning, because you're a kid from Greenwood, South Carolina. You're from the state of South Carolina. And a couple of weeks ago, I was lucky enough to chat with another legend, that is Brad Lawing, former Gamecocks assistant okay. coach. And he's the guy that recruited right. you, obviously. And we yes, talked sir. about yes, you a little right. bit for sure. So I want to go back to the beginning because you in high school were committed to go to Tennessee for a while. You flip, I you was. go to South Carolina. Just talk about, again, being an in-state kid, the recruiting process, what that was like, and why you eventually chose South Carolina. Well, you know, um, early, man, I, I fell in love with Tennessee. Mm. Um, I think it was my junior, my, um, junior year. Um, they had a lot going on, and then, you know, the coaches got fired. Um, so I ended up um, taking my uh, commitment back, and then um, I had a couple of – I wanted to stay in the SEC coming out of high school. So um, Tennessee, Auburn, and Mississippi State and um, South Carolina was the schools that I wanted to um, pursue as far as the SEC. Um, I had a lot of other offers, but I didn't want to play in the ACC or anywhere else. Um, so um, Coach Long, um stayed on me tough, mm -hmm. uh, hard. He recruited me hard, especially um, even when I was committed to Tennessee. You know, he, he, he kept his foot on the pedal. And um, it kind of it, it definitely worked out in in um, both of our favors. You know, I ended up committing and uh, having a uh, successful career at South Carolina, man. So um, I appreciate Coach Lawn. I appreciate Coach Lawn to this day. You know, for getting me um, to South Carolina and doing this job. And um, but yeah, man, it was a it was a good it was a good experience for me. It was a great experience. You know, I wanted to stay in state. That was one of the biggest things that um one of the biggest edges that I I had that South Carolina had over the other, you know, Mississippi State and the other schools because, you know, being in state and playing for your home state, you know, it means a lot. You know, it means a lot to um, the people where you from and it means a lot to your home state. So, um, you know, it was, just, it was the best thing that happened for me. Now, obviously, you're a defensive guy, DJ, but you played for an offensive-minded coach and a legend Hall of Famer, Steve Spurrier. Um, and, of course, like I said, Brad Lawing was the guy that got you to South Carolina. But just talk about your first interactions with Spurrier, relationship with him. I know you probably uh, – I'm sure you caused him a lot of headache in practice because I've talked with other guys, your former teammates, guys like Eric Norwood, and, they, you know, he'd be joking about, yeah, Spurrier kick us out of practice, and we love knocking around those offensive guys. And, oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm sure you caused him many headaches. But just, just talk about what it was like being around Spurrier and your relationship with the HBC. Um, man, it was it was it was a good. It was very good. You know, he didn't he didn't really get on the defense a lot. You know, he stayed in the offensive ends all the time, especially the quarterbacks and wide receivers. Uh, he just kind of let uh, Coach Johnson, mm -hmm. um, and Coach Ward do do their thing with the defense, and uh, we we kind of had fun. We we had mm -hmm. a lot of fun. You know, as long as we was making plays with Coach Perry, you know, he didn't he didn't really mess with us too much. Um, I know I had a a moment. My first moment was my rookie year. Mm. I ended up getting a block in the back on Stefan's touchdown, punt return touchdown, and you know he let me have it for sure <laughs> um, in my rookie year. And uh, he ended up bringing it up um, four years later, and we played Tennessee my senior year. Mm. He brought it up. He was like, DJ, I want you to get one of those block in the back. I'm like, Coach, I ain't, like, I ain't even on special teams no more, man. Like, hey, you got to worry about that, <laughs> you know. But, you know, he, he always remember those bad plays, man. And he going to keep you on point. So, you know, I love Coach Spurry for, you know, always keeping us on point, keeping us on edge, you know, and, and always having us with a com competitive mindset. Um, It definitely worked out well for for our program when he was there. And um, it's, it, he built the standard. 